Feelings too strong for words from a father grieving the loss of his son. But that father and the family have some closure tonight after a jury convicted their son's killer. Charlie Johnson was one of two people who died last year in a mass shooting outside a Minneapolis nightclub just hours before his college graduation. David Schumann shares the powerful moments from the courthouse. One thing we don't have to dread in the future. His son's killer convicted, but it didn't give Greg Johnson much relief, not when he's still without Charlie. I wish I could say I was happy about it. I'm happy that that menace is off the street. Charlie Johnson was murdered outside Monarch nightclub in Minneapolis last year when police say Jawan Carroll got into a gunfight with another man. Charlie, an innocent bystander, was set to graduate from the University of St. Thomas later that very day. Charlie B. Johnson. Instead, his sister, Camille, accepted the diploma at the ceremony. She told WCCO Wednesday the verdict doesn't undo what happened that night, but it's a huge step in our grieving and healing journey. The man suspected of shooting back at Carol also died that night. The mother of his son after the verdict. It's just good. The prosecutors did their thing. They got a monster off the streets. The Johnsons have kept Charlie's memory alive through orange bracelets. But it's orange for against gun violence, and it just has the phrase, I am Charlie, which to us means we're committed to Carrying Charlie through us the rest of our life, living like he taught us to live. And St. Thomas, the school Charlie was set to graduate from, now has a scholarship in his name for study abroad experiences. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Eight other people were hurt in that mass shooting. A judge is set to sentence Carol in December.